All right, guys, I'm back with another video. It's on, uh, it's Greg Doucette, man. He's doing a video on uh, Tanner Shuck. So uh, let's see what he has to say, man. This is going to be interesting. The uh, Tanner Shuck, man, the damn lifting gym slave, bro. You got to love this, man. This is crazy. This is a realistic mid-natural physique. So Greg Doucette says this is a realistic mid-natural physique. It is, is it? He already says he's natural. He's claimed it over and over again. Hello? My God. All right, let's review this video. I just finished my workout. I've got a massive pump. So let's compare my physique now versus me right now after I just woke up. Keep in mind, it's the same day. He got a massive pump. You see that? You got, I got a massive pump. Look at my physique. That's, that's the reason people go to the gym. They get pumped up to pretend they're big and then they walk around and then this is what they look like, flat. And then they got to go back and pump it up at the gym again, bro. Okay. Okay. Coach Greg, in today's video, this natural guy, he has a mid physique. He This natural guy, he has a mid physique. Well, he's got some low body fat there, you know. It's all dependent on his diet. He's a lifting slave, bro. He's going to have low body fat because he's burning his energy. He's lifting every day in the gym. What do you expect? This is the whole point, to fake the look. The more you can fake it, the better off you are, okay? But uh, yeah, he's all pumped here and everything, probably in this picture, he got all pumped up and everything, whatever, to pump up his, his muscles, like, like, a, like a guy using a penis pump. They use penis pumps to pump up their penises. <laughs> it's temporary, man. Then they got to put a ring on it. When they take the ring off, the penis, well, goes back to its natural state. Only looks good on social media when he's completely pumped up under good lighting with the best camera angle. Of course he is. I've done a video on this before. Most possible. The guy is so brave that he shows himself when he's not pumped up. First thing in the morning, when he first wakes up, no pump in his mouth. Because he's recruiting lifting, lifting slaves as well on his channel. Natural, I would call natural lifting slaves. He too is recruiting lifting slaves because he's a lifting slave himself, okay? So he wants some gym slaves. That's all. What's the big deal? By claiming he's natty and not artificial. That's the only difference he's doing than somebody else out there, okay? So, so what? No blood flowing, not flexing. And so he's so brave, he dared to show this. And you're gonna be shocked to see it, just how mid his physique really is. No cap. Well, actually a lot of cap. Let's examine his physique when he's all pumped up, sweating, blood's flowing, he's ripped. Let's check him out. I just finished my workout. I've got a massive pump. So let's compare my physique now versus me right now. How's he look now after the pump? Wow. That flexing really does a lot too, eh? Looks like an average dude. Doesn't even look like a guy that lifts weights. After I just woke up. Keep in mind, it's the same day. Okay, how many of you out there think that he has a... I've said this before. He looks like he doesn't lift weights because he's got a little bit of a newbie gain there. Tiny bit of newbie gain. Tiny bit. And now he's become a lifting slave in the gym because he's not damaging muscles anymore. He's pretending he's building muscles called the pump. And then he has to go back and then repump it. <laughs> Mid or average looking natty physique when he first wakes up in the morning. I mean, look at him in the morning. I can clearly see a six pack. The guy's not even flexing. He's talking all tired. He has no energy. It's like, hey, it's first thing in the morning and I just woke up. He has no energy and he's tired because he's in a weakened state because he's a lifting slave. You understand me? He's battering his body day in and day out like a factory worker. Why, why wouldn't he be exhausted and tired and all that kind of crap? You guys realize I just woke up? Do I talk like this just because I just woke up? Oh my goodness, like I'm so tired. No, I can talk. Oh, you talk fast because you're on drugs, Greg. You're on drugs, man. You're injecting drugs. That's why <laughs> those drug drugs drive you to do that crazy shit. Loud, whatever I want. I just woke up. My mouth is dry. I've been sick for three freaking weeks. I've hardly been able to train. Yet, this is how I... Is that a little bit of speed in there too? But that's how he looks on drugs. That's how he looks on drugs in the morning. It's fake muscles, lovely fake muscles you have there, cosmetic. Look in the morning. This is my morning physique. But notice I'm flexing. If I relax, yeah, I don't see as many abs. I'm not as crazy as if I'm flexing. If I'm flexing, I look a lot better. Look at me, I have a massive pop. Can you imagine if Greg was off his, when Greg was off his drugs? 
his lifts would all go away. And so with all this so-called phony muscle that he built, it too would go away as well because he's a fake. What do you expect when it's fake? Uh, I, I, I just finished my workout. I actually didn't, I just flexed. And so let's compare my physique now versus now after I just woke up. And keep in mind, it's the same five seconds. And every time I post a photo on Instagram and I'm flexing, people comment on my loose skin. So here's the loose skin, notice at the bottom. See this? It's less tight than it used to be. <laughs> I feel like I have to do the friggin' limbo dance here. How do I show this at the same time? Am I gonna lose sleep over the fact that you can see my- Looks like Coach Blaha. It's all that accelerated aging, man. You're looking like Coach Blaha. I can only imagine Greg too is in his 40s and he, he already looks like he's in his 60s. This is terrible, man. Skin on my stomach. So what? I have skin. It's allowed. I'm a- Tanner Shook is on that road as well. The accelerated aging bandwagon. 48 year old man. And so it's okay. I have some loose- Are you 48 already, Greg? I thought you were like 47, but okay. 48 now. You're 48. You're pushing it. Yeah, you're accelerated aging, man. You're going to look really old when you're in your late 50s. Skin, I'm an old man. But listen, this loose skin is way better than 99% of people my own age. You should not compare yourself to other people. It's ridiculous. Just look at me. I feel jacked. I got a ton of blood in my muscles. And look, I, don't even, I don't even see myself as an old man now in, in my late 50s. I still see myself. I don't know. I, I see myself like as if I'm in my 30s. Now, I've got some lines on my face, probably because a lot of sun damage kind of stuff, whatever, because I ate plants, some plants before in the past. But this past decade, whatever, going in the sun, I'm trying to reverse that. But um, yeah, other than that, no, man, I'm, my skin and everything is not loose or hanging or anything like that. I feel really good. I don't know. I think I just need to ramp up more of my bone broth stuff that I'm doing with the bones and everything. And that probably will uh, reverse some uh, a good majority of the stuff that I did to myself. But yeah, skin is very important. That's an indicator of age, man. Definitely. I don't have any loose skin. Yes, he is jacked. He looks jacked when he's pumped up, but he looks jacked when he... he he's young, yet he looks like you, your age, when you look at him. Jesus, looks like you, Greg. He's aging. He's not. First thing in the morning, he still looks incredible. Well, guess what? I only look like this maybe 5% of the time. And so, yeah, you're only going to look crazy 5% of the time. But guess what? I only look like this when I'm flexing. Most of the time, I'm an IFBB pro bodybuilder who's on HRT. I'm not even natural. And so even when I'm standing relaxed, it's not horrible. You're not even natural? You're on HRT? You're on steroids. What are you talking about? You're not natural. You're on steroids. You're still on steroids. You're a liar. Dude, you look great. What are you talking about? If I'm at the gym while I'm doing a set and I'm curling, I'm going to see my bicep flex. I'm going to see my chest move. But any other time of the day, I'm just walking around. I'm going to look how I look. But it doesn't mean it's not impressive. You don't have to be pumped and jacked and flexing to look impressive. But look at me right now. I feel flat. I'm flabby. And so, yeah, I'm... I'm... I don't know anybody that's on TRT from their doctor, a testosterone replacement. Let's say they need a little bit because they have some problems. So they just give you a little bit this shit's like bullshit nobody looks like a bodybuilder on trt man nobody it's a lie he he looks like he's taking he's taking steroids he's lying i don't believe him so flat right now and flabby no like dude from the doctor on trt looks like they're on steroids my friend is like 70 and he's on trt and he's fucking falling apart and he's this and that and no way in the world does he look like a bodybuilder because he's on trt and he goes to a gym he doesn't look. He looks decrepit and old, okay? Look at this fat. Look at all. Yeah, I know. He's doing it with androgel packs, right? 0.5% androgel packs. That's what's giving him this look. The androgel packs. That's it, yeah. <laughs> TRT, androgel. Ask him what type of TRT is on. Oh, I'm on the androgel, 0.5. Yeah, oh, that's what's, that's what's making you look like a guy on trend. Okay, sure. The fat on my body, it's so horrible. But notice, when I'm flexing, it doesn't look the same. If I'm flexing, you don't see that. And so to me, this is scary. He should not be feeling flat and flabby. When you have a six pack, you can clearly see it. You should not feel fat. If you have no abs at all, and you're a bodybuilder, then yeah, you can feel fat. It's okay. You're allowed to. You have to be at least 20% body fat or more. Then you can say, huh, I maybe should lose some weight. But if you're under 15% 
100% body fat, and this guy is, you're not fat. And flat is normal. If you're on a diet and you're not eating a lot of carbs, your muscles are going to not have that fullness. Anytime you eat fewer carbs, okay. your muscles are going to be flat. Flat means that your muscles don't have as much glycogen. When you store glycogen, there are three grams of water for every one gram of carbs stored in that muscle. And so if you go on a diet... See, even Greg confirms the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy for every gram glycogen, three grams of water drawn between skin and muscle into the muscle, giving you that phony sarcoplasmic, phony muscle artificial look. Uh, you're going to lose water weight, aka glycogen, and you're going to look flat. That's how it works. Yeah. And According to Greg, you know how you get stronger? By, by increasing chemical strength, by the adaptations of lifting something heavy. So you got strong chemical strength, lifting something heavy. That's how you get strong, through chemical strength. And how do you get big? Through glycogen. Uh, for every, for every gram of glycogen, three grams of water drawn in the muscle. <laughs> yeah, man. And get the pump. Anytime time I went in a bodybuilding competition and I dieted, I always felt flat until I went to the gym and got a pump. It's normal. You didn't diet. You just took some fucking uh, uh, anabolics. You took some anabolics like Winsor or Primabol, and that's what you took. You didn't diet. You're a liar. And so if you're trying to diet and you're trying to get to single digit body fat, expect to always look flat unless you have a pump. But it's okay. But don't think you don't look jacked just because you don't look as good as you do in the gym. Being in the gym and having a pump, it's great. It feels amazing. But it's not something you expect to look like all day long. Unfortunately, You know why they give Winsor V to horses? They give it to horses. The horses look muscular. You think horses are on a diet? They're not on a diet. They just inject them with Winsor V and they become muscular. That's the whole point. Hey, this is... Day long. Unfortunately, this is how I have to portray myself on social media. I mean, really, he's a hundred percent natural, and so obviously, naturals only compare yourself to naturals. If you're a hundred percent natural and you're comparing to people that take steroids, then you're just an idiot. I mean, think of it. It'd be the same thing like a female comparing her bench press to that of a male. Oh, I don't have a good bench press. I can only bench press 195 pounds. In comparison, the men out there, like Coach Greg, he benched 529 pounds, set a world record for masters when he was only 198 pounds. You don't have any records. They stripped you. They stripped Coach Greg of all his records. If you if you haven't heard, I'm pathetic. I only bench 195. Would it make sense for a female to do that? Clearly, a 195 pound bench press for a woman. It's incredible. It's amazing. But you don't compare it to men because men and women have different expectations. Same for people who are natural versus those on steroids. We have different expectations for how much muscle you have, how much strength you have, and how jacked you can actually get. Just look at this picture. All right, this is from Instagram. I look jacked, but this or this is not an accurate representation of who I am. Listen, both are accurate representations of who you are. When you're standing there relaxed, not pumped, that is an accurate representation of who you are. And when you're in the gym and you're pumped up and you got your swole on, that's also an accurate representation of who you are. Both are. They're both you. One is you pumped and one is you not pumped. They're both accurate. I mean, look at me here right now. I'm only 24 years old and I'm natural there and I have a tan and great lighting and I'm pumped up and I'm flexing. No one can actually look like that. This is just 1% of the time. If you have a gorgeous lawn outside and it looks beautiful during the summer, it's just mowed. Yeah, it looks amazing. And if you don't cut the grass for three days and it's starting to get long, it doesn't look as good. They're both accurate representations of what your yard looks like. And yeah, you look better when you have a pump and you go to the gym and you're flexing. You look better flex than relaxed, but they're both accurate representations of yourself. This is an accurate a representation of who I am. I'm just like any other natty dude. And so, no, this is the part you need to understand. Uh, no, you're not like every other natty dude, man. No, you're not. Not all natties are the same, and not all natties train the same or doing the same things, okay? So don't try to compare him. This guy's trying to compare himself to stupid shit. You're a lazy fucking bum slave, okay? Uh, gym bum slave, bro. Lifting bum slave. You are not just like any other natty dude. By him making this video and hundreds of thousands of people watching this, people who are natural who are then... To think about it. If I, take, if I take two natural guys, all right, and I take a natural guy and I put him through the process of damaging his muscles week after week and sending him down to the buffet to eat for a couple of hours, man. Like, I mean, pounding down the food like crazy, then eating at home still all day, putting, putting him in an anabolic growth state, Coming back the following week after the muscles have been repaired and remodeled and hitting them again repeatedly 
week after week after week after week. Who do you think is going to be bigger and stronger and look jacked and look amazing? The guy who's the lifting slave in the gym coming in chronically lifting like an idiot, like an asshole, eating his asshole diet and lifting these asshole weights all day and complaining about natty bullshit and steroid people. Or the guy that was fucking damaging the shit out of his muscles, lifting heavy and fucking repairing and remodeling and going and eating in an anabolic growth state so he can grow his muscles big and super strong and be jacked and be super fucking strong, bro. Which one do you think is going to actually succeed and which one's going to be the lifting fucking slave? Get it, man? Relaxing in their bodies and looking in the mirror are going to compare themselves to him and think... If he's an accurate representation of natural, then I'm pathetic. Because 99% of people who are natural, they're not going to look this good. So never compare yourself. 99% of natural people that don't damage their muscles and don't eat are going to look like that? Yes. Yes. The lazy people that don't do it properly will look like this bum slave. Get it? This gym lifting bum slave. Get it, man? This failure of unsuccess. Yeah, you're going to look like that. Definitely. You're going to be that. If you're a lifting slave, this is this is the outcome. OK, you're going to be pretend, pretend jacked guy. You'll be pretend jacked guy with pumped and going like this. And then look at me in the morning that you'll be that guy. You'll be that guy to me or anyone else you see on social media. But if you compare yourself to him, of which he does say, do not compare yourself to other people. Why the fuck would I compare myself to him? He doesn't even go through the grueling routine that I do. And I'm not a lifting slave either. Well, you're going to feel inferior, but I need to tell you. Inferior? You match me up even now at my age up against this dude, and I'm going to make him look like an inferior fucking natty. Get it? And I'll still destroy him. I'll still destroy him even with my nerve damage and the way I look, my body, my every just everything about me, my training, everything will still destroy him. And still even my lifts could destroy him still, even at this point. I need you to know this. I need you to pay attention. His physique, natural, is better than 99% of the world. And no, it's not. His physique looks like a normal guy walking down the street, okay? Some dude, some ectomorph walking down the street. He don't look no different than no ectomorph. He's a lifting slave, okay? He doesn't have a physique at all whatsoever. He has not jacked. You stop lying, man. At least at a bare minimum. Think of it. He's a famous guy on social media. How do you think he got that way? You think he got that way from looking average? Of course. No, he got that way from chronically lifting and, and people are watching his channel. That's how. And they're just, he's Tanner Shook and he's like in Dubai and whatever. And he's driving his car, going to this gym, constantly doing the same stuff, complaining about fake natties, natties, da, 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 da. People are just watching him again for entertainment purposes, just like every other channel, entertainment purposes, bro. I'm telling you. Some informative information, this, that. But I'm just telling the I'm just telling the way it is, man. I'm just telling the truth. Of course not. Especially when most fitness influencers are doing steroids. That's not reality. Again, he has to complain about these things, about people doing steroids, because he can't put the work in himself and, and damage his muscles. You understand me? He doesn't want to go through the pain of damaging. Oh, painful restriction, loss of, of strength and force capacity and all this. Oh, I have to go through that, the DOMS and all this. Oh, you mean I have to eat for hours and hours to build my body? Oh, I have to go through a repair and a remodeling. I can't work out the whole week. You mean you're going to take away my chronic lifting slave job, lifting? every day going to the gym like a loser yes yes that's yeah for success you need to do that see here's the thing success is a very short window in this world a lot of people think they need to go to a job and earn a slave wage and then what are you going to do try to save all that money up in your slave job and finally make it when in a hundred years when somebody goes out there they sell a bunch of products on fucking what is it shopify or amazon let's just say that for an example right and then they sell a bunch of products and they make all the money that you would have made. They make it in one year what you would have made in a lifetime. <laughs> you understand how success works, the window of success? You understand me? You could stay there forever like a loser at the factory job, coming in day in and day out, doing the exact same things, getting the exact same outcome. And then there's a guy, he does something different. He just sells a bunch of products. People send him his money. He's got a shitload of money, and he didn't have to do that. You understand me? He did it intelligently. You understand? That's the difference. 
This is reality. This is not reality. This, sticking my stomach out as much as I can is not reality. This is not reality. None of it. What a loser. This is reality for 99.9% .9 of people. So stop. Yeah, he wants to convince you that that's the reality because he's recruiting lifting slaves. You are all lifting slaves. All of these guys, the way they're recruiting these lifting slaves, gym slaves, whatever you want to call them, man. They just, they have their own means of how they're recruiting you. And you're watching this. This is subliminal, subliminal, get it? You're watching, you're, th yeah, the message is going through to my brain. You young people are so influenced by this stuff. It's ridiculous. You're the easiest people to dupe, to dupe into anything. Young people are easiest to convince, to dupe. Comparing yourself to me or anyone else and just compare yourself to yourself. Be the best version of yourself. And so when you're Yeah, just compare yourself to you. Just be the best version of yourself. Come on. And buy my Ecti Builder, okay? Pulling through on your Instagram and your TikToks and all this stuff. And you see... Yeah, Instagram, TikToks, all of this fucking garbage. Disease out there. You are seeing the top 1% of the top 1%. That's one in... How do you know what you see online? A lot of it's altered and stuff. These pictures, Instagram and all that. It's all fakey 10, stuff. 10,000 physiques. The best of the best. And you're inundated with these images. And so you're comparing yourself and you're thinking, well, this guy's natural. This guy looks like this. Or even if you're enhanced, you're thinking, wow, I'm enhanced. I don't even look as good as that guy. And that guy's natural. Yeah, it's because you're comparing yourself to the. See, he's he's against Tanner Shook because he doesn't like his he doesn't like the natural physique. That's fake. Well, you could call it natural physique. I don't know. He doesn't have a physique to me. Okay, he never built one. If you built a physique, you should have one. But he never built one. Okay, so then he's trying to compare somebody who never built a physique, a lifting slave, and then he starts telling you about well, you you know the physique. You're comparing your physique, and you shouldn't. That 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 that. Then buy Ecti Builder. Get it? And buy my protein powders and all that. You're never gonna make it, so you should take steroids, okay? Best of the best. Hey, if you're a renter in Canada and you're struggling with- You look as good as that guy and that guy's natural. Yeah, it's cause you- Yeah, see, wow, I'm enhanced and I don't look as good, I don't look as good natural as, as that guy. Yeah, wow, I'm enhanced, but I don't look as good as that guy natural. What the fuck, man? Greg is such a, what the hell is he, oh man. You're comparing yourself to the best of the best. It needs to stop. You're comparing yourself to the, 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 the cosmetic people wearing cosmetics, doing cosmetics. The cosmetics of the cosmetics you're comparing. He never built a physique, so how the fuck does he have anything to compare, Greg? People are developing body dysmorphia. They don't like the way. Oh, my God. If you go to his channel, he's a lifting slave, broski, okay? Look, here's Tanner Shook, okay? He's a lifting slave, bro. That's him. Before, after, he sh I guess because now he's doing this thing because he saw this before, after thing. He's a lifting slave, okay? He's a lifting slave, bro. That's what he is. He's a lifting slave. Here he is all the time, lifting. <laughs> That's Tanner Shook. Pure lifting slave, okay? Lots of OHPs. What else is he doing here? Some... I don't know what he is. He's got a bunch of other things here. Lifting. Rose. It's day in and day out. He even goes in his car and he talks when he's car. He drives his car. Lifting slave. Fuck. I don't know where the video is when he's in his car. He's usually in his car talking. He comes in the car. There he is. He comes onto the gym in the car. Lifting slave. Like are people really... You know, even it's almost like a copy of uh, what's his name? Um, I don't even know who did it first. Him or Sam Sulik did this first with the driving in the car and the talking. Watching these, are people getting value out of them? Yeah, watching these, are you getting value out of the out of this? Watching these the lifting slave stuff, are you getting value? I don't know. Is there value there? What's the value? What's the value? I don't know if there's any value, bro. I don't know, man to stop people are developing body dysmorphia they don't like the way they look anymore it's got to change remember it's got a solid to role in their body remember da, 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 da. he's got all this he looks kind of fatty i don't know it looks weird his chest is droopy 
He looks terrible. Body's development. And I think the reason for that is people... It looks very sarcoplasmic-y. He, do he doesn't have a physique, man. He has no muscle. It looks glycogen loading. It looks glycogen. Bro, it looks sarcoplasmic. I'm telling you, it looks puffy, sarcoplasmic-y. I don't see any myofibular gains there at all whatsoever. He's a lifting slave. That's it. This guy has never built a body. He's never built himself big and strong. People think you need to be so humble that if I say I have amazing genetics, people think I'm bragging. They think I'm doing it to look cool, to be above or better. Look, I haven't gone through damaging sessions for a long time, but recently I started up again. And then, you know, I've been busy for a bit and I was sick the last three weeks, so I didn't really lift the last three weeks, okay? But now I, I decided I want to condition myself. So I've done quite a few of these damaging sessions, okay? But didn't put enough effort into it like I would usually do because I, I just don't have the time. I'm busy. But now I'm just I thought to myself, maybe this week I should just start conditioning myself because I just want to look a little bit better. Get rid of some body fat, maybe around the stomach area, this, that, whatever. Just look a bit more conditioned so people are more jealous. OK, so you look better. People are more jealous. That's all. You look more defined when you have lower body fat. That's about it. So I just want to look a little bit more conditioned, condition my body a little bit better. That's about because I haven't done it for a while. And maybe also my lifts, my lifts, some chemical strength, get some of that to jump in it, throw it in there. Why not? You know, who the hell, who the hell cares and whatever else, bro. I don't know. OK, but I want to get conditioned. But this guy, he doesn't have a physique. He's not doing that. But then I'll go back to the rest of the rest of the year. I'll be damaging to get bigger and stronger. My whole goal is to build up in my old age to get bigger and stronger. And as you can see in my video, I post I'm big and super strong and jacked. OK than other people i'm actually saying this to take away from the fact that i do in fact train hard i've been training for 38 years been training harder than last time been doing triathlons for 13 years of doing cardio i train harder than most people but i do recognize that the fact is i have amazing genetics you're saying no you don't have amazing genetics you have drugs you liar what a liar. Look, I injected drugs. I have amazing genetics, guy. Look, I, drug, I, I, I injected myself with more drugs. I have amazing genetics. He has the shittiest genetics in the world. He is a manlet, bro. Get it? He's got the shittiest genetics in the world, but he wants to convince you as the best genetics because he took drugs as manlet. You're five foot six man that you can't have amazing genetics. Look, I You don't. You're five foot six man that you don't you're five foot five and you don't have amazing genetics, man lit. Okay, you don't understand I'm not tall. But my genetics By the way, Greg, I think I saw I think I saw Ali in my neighborhood. She was walking a dog. I think she actually moved in my neighborhood. I guess she wanted to move back to the city in Ontario. She doesn't want to live there anymore where you were. Ha. Huh. For building muscle, my genetics for being able to do what I'm doing right now, they're far greater than average. If I didn't have amazing genetics for building muscle, I wouldn't look like this at 48 years of age, especially while only on HRT. And some of you guys, yeah, I wouldn't look like this if I didn't have amazing genetics. Then he wouldn't. What? Tell him to go off his drugs, and let's see if he looks like that. Go off the drugs. He looks terrible anyway. Still, he looks aged. Say, oh, it's HRT, it does everything. It's 140 milligrams a week. Of course it helps, but it doesn't help as much as perhaps if I was doing test, trend, and so on. But I do recognize I'm not natural, and if I wasn't on HRT, I wouldn't look this good. He's a liar. No person that's on HRT looks like a bodybuilder, okay? And if I didn't have amazing genetics, I would not be able to have this physique. Wouldn't even have this on steroids. Most people taking steroids are never even going to look the way I do right now on HRT at 48. Understand that genetics plays a huge role in how much muscle you can have and how your physique is ultimately going to look interested in any of the supplements for naturals g test see any of the supplements fake supplements for naturals <laughs> this is hilarious man garbage geo2 max acti builder creatine protein powder all from harder than last time Bobby. yes all for you poor little naturals out there yes take these poor things so you can get your pre-pumps your people don't even understand what natural means natural person going to a gym a natural lifter or, or a person that's building their body naturally you <laughs> You can't build your body artificially. You have to build it naturally. 
And even if you are artificial, you still have to do it naturally. You still have to damage, repair, and remodel those muscles. And if you ain't damaging them, you ain't building myofibular growth. So whether you're taking drugs or not, if you don't like the pain, if you don't like the pain and all the, all the things that come with that, the uh, damaging muscles and the repairing and the remodeling and all that, if you don't like that, don't do it. And majority of you, 90-something percent of you are not doing it. And though me in the past, many people, I discovered it in the past. There were people doing it. That's how I kind of discovered it. I kind of figured it out eventually. But like I said, you people today, you're not doing that. Lift the heavy weight. I got to get a stronger to get a big ah. And then I got to take these supplements. And then again, I get me big ah and stronger too. Yeah. You keep imagining that. Keep imagining. Keep telling yourself that. Yeah. It's maybe it'll happen in a billion years. <laughs> See you in the next one, friends. I gotta go. Hardcore stim pre-workouts. We have hardcore 2.0 pre-workouts. We have so many versions of different pre-workouts, pre-pumps and pre-pumps, pre-pumps. You're gonna get pumps, workouts, and the cookbook and all these phony things for all you poor natties out there that are so lazy that don't want to damage your muscles to grow them bigger and stronger. I'll see you in the next one and then just complain and cry. Comment down below helps with the algorithm. Like, subscribe, support the channel, bro ski. It helps. And his next video is 13 year old girl on trend. Yeah. Just because the 13 year old girl can squat. I don't know what it is. 300 pounds or something. She's already on drugs. She's on drugs. She must be on drugs. <laughs> this is so weird, man. See you in the next one. Ciao.